Hi, it's Ashik here. Welcome back to my channel. Our today's topic is Accounts for Club and Society. In this video, today I'll show you how to prepare receipt and payment account and income and expenditure account. So let's get started. So before we start preparing the payment, receipt and payment account, we need to know some features of this account. Okay. First one is, uh, it is a summary of cash book without bank and discount columns. So already you know how to prepare a cash book. So I have a video on, on it. I'll link to this video in the description. You, if you want, you can watch. Okay. So what does it mean actually? You know, in the cash book, there are three columns, three dollar columns actually in the debit side, cash, bank and discount, same three columns you have in the credit side. But when you prepare the receipt and payment account, it is just like cash book format, but there is no bank and discount column. Okay, only one column you have to write the cash value. Cash amount comes in, cash amount goes out here. Okay, and you know, this side is debit side and this side is called credit side same uh, four column same three columns you have here in the credit side okay so this format is just like a cash book format but in the cash book we have bank and discount discount columns but here we don't have these two columns we have only cash columns okay so number two is here total amount of all receipts are shown on its debit side so so whatever comes in, like if you receive any kinds of cash, then this cash will come in the debit side. And if it goes out, it will be in the credit side. That means all payments will be here in the credit side and all receipts will be written in the debit side. Okay, very easy. Then number three, both receipts and payment in cash, whether they are of capital and revenue nature. So, you know, there are a capital expenditure, revenue expenditure, and some uh, capital receipts and revenue receipts but when you prepare this uh, recent payment account you don't have to consider anything just if you think that it is a receipt you will take it here if it, it is a payment you will take it here okay even i have some videos on on capital and revenue expenditure and receipts so you can watch it same i'll uh, link to this video in the description box okay so like whatever nature of these expenses or payment you will take it if it is cash okay fine then number four is here it generally shows a debit balance means uh, the balance will come generally in the debit side okay if you have bank overdraft then sometime it may go in the credit side okay i'll show you here non-cash items such as this uh, depreciation unpaid expenses actual incomes are not shown in this account so this will not come here okay so remember when you prepare this account then number six it begins with opening balance of cash slash bank or bank overdraft like you, you start uh, to prepare this one with the balance of cash or bank whatever given in the question okay then and number seven is written here it shows the amount of all receipts and payments of any period okay period means accounting period like like uh, like this year you are doing for 2021 20, 20, uh, accounting period but if you have any receipt in in 1920 or 1819 whatever period is you have in the question but if you think that it is a receipt and it is a payment which is made in cash you have to take it and you have to write in this account okay so please remember this features okay this rules these are very important to prepare this resident payment account okay now look at the question on this screen actually this question is sent by one of our student asad raj he is from nigeria and uh, look at here what is written here uh, lottery club was inaugurated on the january 1st 2011 it has the following payment and receipts okay so some information is given so we'll do this question now so what is first one member subscription already al already you know subscription it is a receipt yeah so we will write here okay so date is 2011 january 
France. Okay. So right here is subscription, thirty two thousand dollars. Okay. The next one is foundation fee. Is a receipt? Yeah. So right here, foundation fee, eight thousand dollars. Okay, great. Next we have a annual ministry gift. Okay. So what do you mean by annual gift? Annual gift means uh, you you did not receive these gifts. Okay. You purchase gifts for the people okay people of the ministry okay so right here in the in the credit side so come here same date january 1 so right annual gift so right here nine thousand six hundred dollars okay next one is here what is written rent of office space so rent so obviously you paid yeah it is an a, an expense that means it is a payment okay so right here rent so right here three thousand two hundred dollars okay so next one is what general expenses 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 means payment yeah so right here general expenses two thousand four hundred dollars okay great next one is what a purchase of typewriter okay purchase of anything is expense yeah so go to the payment column then write purchase purchase of typewriter so right here six thousand four hundred dollars okay great next one is what purchase of table yeah so purchase again purchase means payment so right purchase of table so right four thousand one hundred sixty great next one is what receipt from Flim show okay so it is a receipt already written here so right here film show 10,400 okay great then what we have here film expenses okay so film expense will be in the, on the payment side yeah so right 4,240 okay next one is what postage and stationery okay $800 so right here postage eight hundred dollars okay what is next here club entertainment okay so it is also an expense so right club entertainment okay three thousand eight hundred forty okay so what is next one the last one is picnics okay uh, 1040 so right here picnics picnics okay 1040 so these are the items given in the question so we have here three receipts and other all payments so now we have to balance it okay we have to check uh, how much our balance CD so how to balance it if you add this column the uh, receipt column your answer is here how much fifty thousand four hundred dollars okay take the same value to the opposite side fifty thousand four hundred dollars okay now you add this all then you subtract okay if you add this all what is your answer 35,680 okay now you subtract this value from this uh, $50,400 what is your answer here 14,720 okay so this is your balance balance CD CD means carry down okay so this same balance cd will be balance pd here in the in the uh, uh, debit side so right here balance balance pd same value 14720 okay for date of balance cd you have to write the last day of the year okay so last day of the year will be December 31st, yeah? 
and for balance bd will be next year that means here january uh, 2011 it will be 2012 january 1st okay so this is all about your receipt and payment account now i'll show you how to prepare income and expenditure account from this receipt and payment account okay so uh, this is a vertical format of uh, income and expenditure account if you want you can do a, a horizontal format as well okay so uh, first of all we will write the incomes means uh, the receipts okay whatever receipts you have we have to write here then we have some adjustment in the question we'll adjust with this revenue or, or payments whatever so here first of all we have subscription thirty two thousand dollars so why i wrote this value here because we have adjustment with this one okay look at the adjust adjustment wall street and the treasurer keep no bank account okay that that is why we did not write here balance bd okay balance bd often come in the debit side in resident payment account uh, fine then wall street and uh, he has informed you uh, that uh, uh, three members paid subscription of uh, $960 in advance. Okay, so you got $960 in advance. So you have to subtract this $960. Okay, while uh, $6,400 uh, was still outstanding. Okay, so six thousand four hundred dollar is outstanding that means you have to add this six thousand four hundred dollars your answer will be thirty seven thousand seven hundred forty dollars once again we will subtract the advance which is nine hundred sixty dollars and we will add accrued uh, outstanding unpaid area due whatever return okay we added here 6400 and we calculated we got the balance uh, $37,440 okay very good what is next one uh, here uh, foundation fee yeah it is also uh, uh, our income so let us write here foundation fee $8,000 so right here then we have here film show $10,400 10,400 why we wrote this one because we have expenses related to this film show so look at here it's written that film show expense so we can subtract this film show expense here directly okay so 4,240 okay if you think that you write this film show here uh, in the receipt side means income section and you write the ex uh, film expenses in the ex expense section this is also fine but it's better to calculate calculate here okay subtract directly so if you calculate it is six thousand one hundred one hundred sixty okay uh, okay we have no more uh, incomes here okay this is all about three so now we add fifty one thousand six hundred dollars okay now we will subtract the expenditures so right here this expenditures so what is our first expenditure uh, annual gift again annual gifts so it is an expense okay you purchased gifts to give someone okay the ministry people you in the question okay don't think that you received these gifts not like that okay so right here it's an expense annual gift thousand six hundred dollars okay then we have here rent rent is also an expense what is this three thousand two hundred dollars so right here general expenses okay what is value here it is the two thousand four hundred so right two thousand four hundred great then we have purchase of typewriter will it uh, will it come here no it is an asset okay asset will not come here this is income and expenditure only revenue expenditure and revenue receipt will come here okay no asset items okay so i will not take that then purchase of table same table is a non-current uh, non-current asset so it will not appear here so then film expenses already we wrote film expenses we subtracted these expenses from the income here okay a film to income so we don't have to write this one once again here but again, I'm telling you, if you want to write this value here, it is also fine. 
without uh, subtracting here if you want to write separately here it is also fine you will get same answer okay so then what do you have a uh, postage yeah it will come so right here postage 800 dollars then we have club entertainment yes it is it is uh, uh, an expenditure so right here entertainment 3840 so right picnic expense 1040 so we wrote all the expenditures here okay and all the revenues here we added all the uh, receipts okay we got fit to one thousand six hundred dollars now we'll subtract this all expense uh, expenditures from this total receipts okay before calculation let us have a look at the question once again look at the adjustment bill amounting uh, to eight uh, four thousand eight hundred dollars are still unsettled that means you have an expense you have an sorry you have an expenditure which is not yet paid okay it is unsettled unsettled that means it is an expense you have to pay this one okay so write this here uh what is called unsettled or unpaid four thousand eight hundred dollars one more adjustment adjustment is here what is written the last last one the new table is now one thousand six hundred dollars less so what is the new table price here yes it is four thousand one hundred sixty dollars so written that the price of this table now one thousand six hundred dollar less okay so what is called this one this value is called actually depreciation okay so let us write here depreciation one thousand six hundred dollars so we finished writing all the items we finished writing all, all the uh, adjustments now we cal will calculate to check what is your our uh, surplus or deficit okay so first of all if you add this all expenses means your expenditures it will be 27,280 dollars okay now we will subtract this value from this uh, total uh, incomes okay if we subtract what is your answer here 24,320 okay this is our answer so what is this value called this is called surplus okay so let us write here surplus okay surplus is also called excess of income over expenditure i hope you understood how to prepare the receipt and payment account and the income and expenditure account next time i'll show you how to prepare subscription account and the statement of financial position which is balance sheet okay and i'll show you some more uh, practice question for for this and this account I share this lesson with your friends they will be also benefited and for more videos please subscribe my channel okay and i'll see you soon it's to save bye bye